Hey there, Dr. Radical UA here with another hopeful, hopefully helpful video. This video is also going to be like my previous ones about ripping and preparing footage to edit with in AMVs. Um, this is kind of a follow-up to the previous videos. It's, it's very similar, yet it's more advanced. Um, a lot of the same tactics, only we're going to be integrating some new programs to make things a lot easier. Like I said, it is considered a more advanced tactic, but it really makes things oh my God, so much easier. Now, um, to start off with, like you did before, you will open the program known as DVD Decryptor to rip your DVD. Go right here on my desktop. As you see, I keep quite a bit of things on my desktop, just to kind of keep things simple. Now, once you have DVD Decryptor open, follow the basic steps of ripping the DVD. If you are not familiar on these steps, feel free to refer back to my original How to Rip DVD guide. Um, it does go through the process of how to use DVD Decryptor there. Pretty simple process. Put the DVD in the drive, select the destination, and press the little DVD green arrow hard drive button. Um, shouldn't give you too much of a headache trying to figure that part out. So, once you have gone ahead and ripped your DVDs, um, for those of you who are familiar with the DVD ripping process, a video TS file along with an audio one is created. Now, I went ahead and I prepared a lot of this footage um, ahead of time. So I've already got basically everything ready, just kind of trying to show you how to go through the motions. Now, the video TS file, if you open it up, you will see that there's quite a bit of you know, odd things in here. Um, weird little files with weird little names. <laughs> The files that we're primarily looking at are the VOB files. Now these VOBs are the actual video files. This is where your footage is going to come from. So keep this in mind. Now we do not need this window anymore. Let's see. So close out of the video TS file. The next program you're going to open is called DG Index. Now DG Index came with the AMV app. That's AMV APP. Free to download, free to use, great program. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I promote it like crazy. Um, now, if you're not sure if you got the DG Index, because it's kind of like hidden in there when you download the AMV app, you simply just have to go into your all programs um, at your start menu and check the AMV app. You'll see it in there, I guarantee you, um, no problems. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. Let's see, DG index. I've got it linked right on my desktop, as usual. And it's going to give me this kooky little screen here. This is the program DG index. Now, next step is you are going to go to File, Open, and then once you have your little browsing screen open, you are going to look for the video TS file. Next more, save direct from my desktop, makes things easy. Um, once you have the video TS file open in your little browsing window, you're going to highlight everything. Highlight everything, open it up, and it's going to give you another little screen with a file list on it. Hit OK. Now you'll see that the DG index has gotten quite a bit bigger. And if you hear any rustling in the background, that is my cat playing in a pile of boxes. We just moved, and he's not the brightest. But back to DG Index. Um, <laughs> now, if you take this little marker here and you scroll around, you will see your entire movie. All those VOB files, the entire DVD that you just ripped, is right here. Now, if you're curious about the source that I've got here, because it is a bit of a weird one, um, this is actually known as Fairy Florence. Um, it's a bit of an older source, as you can probably tell. It's an old Sanrio movie, um, all about classical music and such, so that kind of solved that mystery there for you. But anyways, back on to the ripping. Um, next step, go to File, Save Project. Select where you want to save it, title it something. 
I just titled my um, file Fairy to keep it simple. Um, now I'm not going to go through the file saving process since I already did it, but once you hit the save button, it's going to pop up another little screen. What you can really pay attention to is the elapsed and the remaining. The elapsed is how much time it's taken, the remaining is how much time is remaining to save it. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to figure that out if you can figure out the basic uses of a computer. Once it says finish, then you're good. So, no longer need the DG index. Now, you will notice on your desktop that several files have been created. Um, there will be two files that are going to be something along the lines of uh, Fairy T01. Once more, it's going to be Fairy for me since I named my project file Fairy. Um, a Fairy.d2v, and then a simple file that says Fairy. Now, this file itself, um, it's going to look like some weird, like, blank note with an image of a film going over it. Now, if you did install the AMV app correctly, which you will need to do in order to complete this, um, a program called AVS Script was installed also. This is what creates this file and what makes it, uh, what makes it open. Now, when you open up the file, mine's looking a little bit different here. I'll go ahead and take care of that. This is what yours is going to look like. Very, very blank, very, very empty, not a whole lot going on here. It's going to say MPEG2 source, and then a whole lot of nada. Now, in between the quotation marks here, this is where you're going to type in the location of your, of your D2B file. Now, my location is once more on my desktop. So mine says C, because it's my C drive, document settings, administrator, desktop, fairy.d2b. That's where my file for the DTV is located. So that's where I want this um, set up. Now we'll go ahead and copy paste this into the video description for anyone that wants it, just so that way they can kind of get a closer look at it. Use it as more of a guide. Um, don't just copy paste it because it more than likely will not work for you, considering I don't think that you're going to be naming your file Fairy. And, and if your computer name is not administrator, then once more it will not work. Now if you think you know how to switch these two out, feel free to do so. Hope it works for you. In addition to this, um, ABS scripting opens up a new world of basically cleaning footage and making it simpler to use making it prettier too. Now, I'm only going to do one thing to this source, is I'm going to resize it to the correct aspect ratio. If you don't know what aspect ratios are, I will be making a video on that later, and I will also be uploading that to YouTube, so you can kind of learn what aspect ratios are, how do I figure what my aspect ratio is, and what are the settings for them. So, I'm going to put on here Lanxos Resize 640 by 480 Langsos resize is the script itself. 640 by 480 is the size that I'm making it. Um, since it is a full screen source, most older anime are full screen, and including Fairy Florence. So once I've got all this in here, I'll just go ahead and I will save the script. Okay, so we've got our MPEG source and I'm resizing it personally. Don't have to do that if you don't want to, it is recommended. And once more, please ignore the following boxes in the background. Um, special kitty playing with them. Very, very special. <laughs> well, let's see here. So once we've got the notepad saved, we're going to go ahead open up Virtual Dub Mod. Good old Virtual Dub Mod. Gotta love it. Now if you want to, you can go through the open video file, find it, open it up, or if you have access to it, drag and drop. Now if you take a quick look, you'll see that your entire video is here. It is transferred over. It isn't virtual dub mod. This is not a single VOB. This is the entire movie. In addition to the fact that it's sized correctly. Now, all that's left is to choose the video, compression, and what you want. Once more, Huffy, um, Huff YUV, or Huffy as I like to call it, for Vegas users, Lagarith or Lag for Adobe Premiere, and Intel India 4.5 for Windows Movie Maker users. There is a new codec out there. It's called UT Video. Um, I've heard really great things about it. It's free to use, free to download. Um, I personally haven't had the chance myself to play with it or experiment with it. 
Um, for some reason, my copy of Windows doesn't really like it, so I've got to do some work there to get that up and running. But nonetheless, I've heard some really great things about it by some top-ranking editors, so highly recommend to check it out. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. Um, PM me or email me with any questions. Remember, I do not respond to them on this channel, as you can already probably tell. If you have any questions, Dr. Radical UA, that's all one word, at gmail.com, or feel free to PM my main YouTube channel, Radical X UA. Um, but yeah, hope this helped. Have a great time.